Liverpool party coming. Post. Start, touch with right, right, start. And I'm the president of the city of Penrith RSL sub branch. I'd like to welcome. So I'd like to say good morning to the, the state president of RSL New South Wales, Mr. James Brown, our guest of honour, squadron leader Paul Tellerman from 22 Squadron RAF base at Richmond. Representing the Honourable Stuart Ayres MP, member for Penrith, is Councillor Tricia Hitchin, who's our Deputy Mayor. Councillor John Thane, the Mayor of Penrith City Council. The member for Lindsay, Ms Emma Hussar, MP. Representing Tanya Davies, MP, member for Mulgawa, is Brian Cartwright. Representing the Director of Public Schools New South Wales, Blue Mountains Network and Penrith Network is Mrs Lorraine Segula, I think it is, Principal Jamison Town Public School. Uh, representing Club Paceway, uh, Jim Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On behalf of the City of Penrith RSL Subranch, I extend to you a very warm welcome. Each year, my committee selects a high school from our local area who was asked if they would like to provide two of their senior school leaders to act as masters of ceremony for our student service. This year, we chose Nepean Creative and Performing Arts High School, and I'd now like to introduce to you Tyler Safali and Jack Treasure, who are this year representing the students from the district and who will be conducting today's student ANZAC service. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning. I would like to introduce to you Reverend Ted Walker, our sub-branch chaplain, to open this ceremony with a prayer. Lord God, help us this day to remember the sacrifice of the first Anzacs, the Australian and New Zealanders, and the, the generations of men and women and children who have died in the cause of liberty and peace. Help us to remember those who still bear the physical and mental scars and disabilities of their service. Help us to remember the widows, girlfriends, patients, parents and orphans, and all those who waited in vain for the return of their loved one. Help us to remember the mateship, agony, courage and compassion of war service but save us from ever glorifying the horror and tragedy of war. Lord God, help us to remember. Amen. From Wimberley High School and the choir from Emu Heights Public School as they sing Abide With Me.
Squadron Leader Paul Templeman from 22 Squadron, RAF Base Richmond, to give the ANZAC oration. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we approach ANZAC Day for the year 2018, there is much to consider, reflect and learn from our history. The War of 1914 to 1918 was meant to be the war that ended all wars. This is the year of the 100th anniversary of the Armistice Day in 1918. In the true sense, Armistice Day was the end of conflict from the First World War. However, peace was officially achieved some six months later with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. During World War I, many Australians were motivated to enlist and travel to the other side of the world by the fact that their family and friends were from the United Kingdom. Today, my colleagues and I wear the uniform for you. Since the end of World War I, there have been many regional and global conflicts. Each year, we remember the sacrifice of all those who have defended our nation in times of war and conflict. However, this year, I would like to draw lessons from the past to look forward to the future, a future of peace. Today, there are over 58,000 Australian Defence Force members in uniform training to ensure peace for our country is maintained. We work with our counterparts in other countries and militaries to ensure the stability of our region. Stability of life is not just from conflict. Recently, Australian the Australian military has been operating out of Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, Darwin, among other parts of our nation to support those affected by natural disasters in a humanitarian capacity. This is just as important today as stopping the guns during the Great War. My goal as a uniform member is to allow you to head to school each day, to go to the shops, to watch your movies, participate in weekend sport, and finally, to fall asleep knowing that you can do it all again when the sun rises. However, the military can't achieve this alone. Today, preserving the peace requires an entire whole-of-government approach. For example, the use of other political and economic influences are used to ensure a peaceful resolution in circumstances is always maintained. This has been seen during the ongoing situation in South Sudan, a young country that was officially recognised in 2011, has seen many non-government agencies, governments and organisations work together to build up areas of the nation such as health, welfare, security, primary industry and government. This is only achievable if individuals hold up their responsibility in preserving the peace. This all starts with you. You are responsible for preserving the peace in your community, your school, your home and between your friends. This is achieved through your compassion and empathy when seeking out the similarities that bind us together as opposed to the differences that separate us. I'll leave you with a thought to consider. It has been said that during 1914 to 1918, ordinary individuals lived in extraordinary times. Well, I believe today is no different. You are extraordinary individuals who live during extraordinary times. So I ask, what have you done today to continue preserving the peace that followed the armistice in 1918? Paul Templeman. Will you please join the...
will now conduct a wreath laying ceremony and I invite the following to lay their tributes. President of the City of Penrith, RSL Subbranch, Mr Mick McConnell. State President of the RSL New South Wales Branch, Mr. <laughs> Guest of Honour, Squadron Leader Paul Templeman from 22 Squadron, RAF Base, Richmond. Representing the Honourable Stuart Ayres MP, Councillor Tricia Hitchin, Deputy Mayor. His worth, Councillor John Thane. Federal Member for Lindsay, Ms Emma Hassar, MP. Representing Tanya Davies, MP, Member for Mulgoa, Mr Brian Cartwright. Representing the Directors Public Schools New South Wales, Penrith and Blue Mountains Network, Ms Segula. Represent by Mr Jim Mason. Blacksland East Public School, Blacksland Public School and Blacksland High School. Jamison Town. Landialo Public School, McCarthy Catholic College. School, the Pain Creative and Performing Arts High School, Orchard Hills Public School.
Penrith Anglican College, Penrith Public School and Penrith High School. Penrith South Public School, Regionville Public School and Surveyors Creek Public School. Samuel Terry Public School, St Dominic's College and St Nicholas of Myra Primary School. Warragamba Public School and Warrington County Public School. If any other person or group wishes to lay a tribute, please do so now. For the Ode of Remembrance. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
Yeah, come on up. All right, Commander. Please be seated. Reverend Ted Walker will now deliver the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain and abide with us now and always. Amen. Would you now please stand and join the band and choir as they play and sing our national anthem. Please stand and remain silent for the dismounting of the catafalque party.
I would like to hand over to the President to conclude this service. Okay, thank you very much. Please be seated. I'd just like to thank the following people for their participation today. A very special thanks to our two MCs, Tyler and, J and Jack from uh, an appeal and creative performing arts high school for the professional manner in which they conducted the service today. They did a wonderful job. <laughs> to Emu Heights Public School for providing the choir and the buglers and the band provided by Winmaloo High School. Excellent. To the Army Cadets from 323 Squadron, Australian Air Force Cadets for providing the catafalque party, and 21 Army Cadet Unit for the Honour Guard. What an excellent job they did, particularly standing out in the sun. <laughs> St John Ambulance for providing first aid for today. The Club Paceway for providing the facilities for this service. To the CBD Corporation for their assistance in organising and coordinating this event. The students from Cranbrook High School who volunteered to direct and hand out programs to students who are getting off the buses today. Thank you. <laughs> to all our volunteers and to my sub branch members for their assistance in organising and coordinating today's activities. But most importantly, very importantly, is to you, the students, and your teachers and schools for allowing you to attend the most important and memorable occasion. So thank you very much. I believe we had something in the vicinity of about 1,800 here today, a little bit over, so that's tremendous, excellent. But uh, last but not least, a very special thank you to uh, CDC and Blue Mountains Bus Companies for without them providing transport you wouldn't be here today sitting in the sun, so thank you. You'd be in class instead, so thank you very much. So that concludes today's service. So under the direction of your teachers, please move to the buses and we thank you once again. Thank you.